welcome to Show Builder Tutorials. Today we're going to delve into how to use the company page. Now we have used this page to show many different features of Show Builder, but today we're going to get more specific on its particular features. Overall, the company page is a main crossroads of information. Many other pages either branch off of or add on to the information you can see here on the company page grid. Because of that, I'm going to remain on the grid view for the duration of our video. Now, let's take a look at what information you have access to here on the page. A lot of things are self-explanatory, such as contact name or picture. Picture will just be a headshot of your company member. When you input this information here, it makes your life much easier down the line when you begin generating paperwork, such as a who's who face page or a contact sheet. Next, we have title and track name. For an actor, this could mean a specific character, such as Shrek, or it could also be a type of track, such as Ensemble, Standby, or Swing. For a production staff member, this could be a specific title or position, such as Sound Designer or Deck Sound. Moving across the bar, we then have Contact Name. This is the name of the actual company member and it will stem from your contact list or if you're inputting a new company member, it will add that person to your contact list. Next, we have department. Department is just a group identifier to help you organize your company. That is different from our next parameter of discipline. Discipline has to do with edit permissions. Each discipline has a specific discipline leader who can decide how much access and edit ability each member within their discipline has. That is then followed by section, seen here. Section is a specifier for just the musician discipline. An example of this would be if you have a company member who is a trombone player. They may be listed as being in the brass section. Or perhaps a violin player might be listed as being in the string section, and so on. Next we have phone number and email. Both of these pieces of information are important for contacting your company members. but. Email is also necessary if you're going to share this production with them. Without an email, you will be unable to share the production with that company member and therefore they will not have access to the show on Show Builder. Now I'm going to move my cursor over the grid which will allow me to scroll to the right and give us access to the columns that are currently not visible on the screen. However, before I do that, I would like to draw your attention to this column here, contact name. As I scroll and information moves towards the left side of the page, you'll notice that as we move through, contact name stops and remains on the page. This is a feature to help you access and see which track you're looking at, no matter where you are in the grid. Moving right along, next we have actor type, seen here. This is yet another specific parameter similar to section in that it only appears on the edit page for someone who is in the actor discipline. This is also editable, so you can really customize this using your own terminology. Next, we have number of players. Players are just other company members who can step into that track. From a cast standpoint, that may be a swing. For a crew member, this could be a place to include any subs 
you may have to step in and run your track. After players comes shared. This column just indicates whether you have shared this production with this particular company member. This is slightly different from user connected, which is next, and that user connected means the production member has accepted that shared show and has logged on and created an account, thus giving them access to the production. Now within the grid, there are also a few columns detailing edit permissions that you can include. I can access the menu here, come down to columns, and as I scroll through, you'll see a number of items that I have unchecked. Discipline leader, edit rights, etc. For our purposes, I have removed them from view. This is because we will be going over an entire sharing a production process in a separate video. And when I do that, I will go through each of these categories and explain what they mean. Moving right along, we have split track. This is just an indicator letting you see at a glance if you're dealing with a split track. Next, we have understudy. Similar to split track, it's just giving you an indicator so you can see at a glance what type of track we're dealing with. Finally, here we have the updated column. As we saw in the Action Icon tutorial, when you make changes to a particular entry, this updated column will show a checked box, seen here. If you would like to clear that, all you have to do is travel up here to the Clear Updates icon. Now, finally, before I go, I'd like to draw your attention to this Action Icon here. This is the Save Grid Settings icon, and it looks a little different than it did during our Action Icon tutorials. This change has just been made to help you differentiate between Save Grid Settings and a Save Information icon. Now, that should give you a basic overview of how to use the company page. We hope this was a useful video for you, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or send us an email. Thanks for stopping by and break a leg.